It's Mel and Tony. It's a crazy day. It's a crazy day. Because Mel and would not be disappointed. So Mel and would be disappointed. She knew she wanted to mention it. You don't know you can't hear because that noise is so loud. Some people gotta have a birthday, you know. You you don't have one, right? No, mine coming. Okay, so I had to have one. Uh, you can try to tell the people I'm 68. That you That's people. how old you are. Yeah, I passed. Oh man! I am. I'm a senior citizen now. Official senior man. Yeah. Okay. So when you see me in the street, you gotta call me senior man. You can't call me no more. You know. Let me fix my shirt so <laughs> I can stay disciplined now, because mine I officially get the. The rank of senior citizen. Example set up. So, you, yeah. So now I have to be very careful what I say, what I say them around. And then I got to be, because when you hit the age of the threshold of 60, you say, mm -hmm. you have to have wisdom. And you have to share your wisdom. And if you ain't sharing your wisdom, but you got to carry yourself in a manner that the young people respect you. That is what's wrong. Anyhow. Young what, and old. Yeah. So what we're talking about today is what? It's about the children. Oh, but the children, it all ties into my birthday. The children got to be able to understand the man over 60, the senior citizen. And he then has the, the man the respect. No, it should come automatically now. No, 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 flow. no. In the Bahamas today, the darn pigeons are loose. Well, let me say something. And when the pigeons are loose, you got to now train the pigeon again. You could train an old dog new tricks. Why not? You, yeah. Ban an old tree? Yeah. When you try to ban an old yeah. tree, what happens? All dogs, all man, is look for young guy. And the young guy is trained them. So you will tell me you could get trained. Because <laughs> they're stupid, they get trained. Well, 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 I was so thinking about the trained. senior <laughs> doing the training now, not the junior. <laughs> Well, why you think these old men like me, 60 like young guys? Because we won't get trained. Mm, retrained. Eh? Yeah, this is a real world we live in. You mean you are trying to turn back the clock? <laughs> we, we, will, we will be what, 16 and strong again. Mm. But our topic is not based on me. Our topic is based on the children mm -hmm. and training the children mm -hmm. and growing up the children and how we got where we are today. But most important, how we could retrain mm. to get it right. Because in the country today, young men are dying by the hour. And it's because something is going on either in their mind or the training wasn't right, or, or the spirit of evil take over our country. Something, something went wrong. So we can diagnose today and see how we can, what happened to the children. Okay. Well, let me give you my, uh, a story. Mm -hmm. I gotta give you a story to set it right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send a message to some of these parents. It looked like, no matter what you could do for these dying children, these children just are grateful. They're just grateful. And see, one time ago, we was taught mm -hmm. that save for a rainy day. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself for this day, because you, 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 you can get older and you can need some money to take care of yourself and you need this and that. Listen. People like me and you, Melanie, old people. <laughs> Listen to this good now. 
It's time that we spend our money we making on ourselves. Stop saving. Listen, these dying children we got is so ungrateful. We need to spend our hard earned money on ourselves. I'll tell you why I say that. Because don't care how much you try to develop yourself and develop for your children. You say, well, I can do this so when I die, my children benefit it. But these children, when you're dead, these children now, the first thing they do with when you're dead is fight amongst themselves. And when they fight amongst themselves, then the second thing they do, they fight over the money. And you know, you said something important, and I just want to piggyback, piggyback on, on that. Me. In terms of training, because I am wondering whether it is because of the lack of training or it's just simply because of the waywardness of the children. Because mm -hmm. if, for instance, a parent die and leave everything to be shared equally, you're going to have one person who's going to have that green eye and say, well, oh, well, I did more for her or something like that, right? But there are those, in spite of the Christian upbringing, in spite of the mother instilling the value of caring for each other, greed still kicks in. If you want to flip it, you talk about guiding your children and trying to help them to save for rainy day and I'm wondering whether the formula that our parents use in raising us is still relevant no it's not oh, okay. no, it's not. because I, I'm just going to say they don't see the need to save when they have exhausted their monies into um, maybe a retirement package when they get the job, there's a retirement package where a certain amount of their salary comes. Then they have the medical and life insurance. So they figure whatever is left of it, they could party. Because yeah. when hard times or trouble strike, they could submit a claim. But listen to this. This, mm. this, this, this is sweet. This is the part that's the nuts of it. Mm. What has happened to people like 60 and 70, mm -hmm. no, 50 and 60. Mm -hmm. We so fool, we stuck on these jobs for so long that we were going nowhere, they don't mean it's no good, because we were thought, get a job and stay on a job and stability. Mm -hmm. That's foolishness. Okay. So young people, let me tell you why it's foolishness. Because when you get a job and the job paying you $10, mm -hmm. Why you can't go for a job paying twenty? So much. And one will appear that is paying twenty, but the senior individuals might say, "Oh, but this is stable job. I, I job. I done been on this for fifteen years. Mm -hmm. I go now and I gotta go start all over be, just to get ten dollars more." But you know what they give you them, when you stay on them job long? Mm -hmm. Everybody can watch for this. They throw a party, a even party. Mm -hmm. And then they give you a gift. And they give about $100. And that's and from your co-workers. I yeah. don't even from your boss. Exactly. And so that's what you get. Majority of the time, then they, you, you got to fight to get a pension. You got to fight to get, um, what do you call it? Your percent, whatever. Your gratuity. And your 4%, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. and, and, you, and, and then they tell you only you get 12 or years. Pension, or they only yeah. tell you, wait, this and that. And you give your whole life to this job. What has happened to us? We are stupid and fool. The ones in 50, We're 40. committed and loyal. Loyal to what? Loyal to our bosses. You have to stop being loyal to these jobs. Or these jobs. But, see... And yeah. start being wise. And start being wise because if you stay on the job five years and they promote you in five years mm -hmm. and they telling you, well, oh, you could stay because you wait for government and they give you a pension. But you live in this five years 
struggling, can't go to the bank, can't do this, can't do that, can't do nothing, can't, can't do nothing. You there stuck for 18, 19 years, and can't do nothing. And then, to control you, then they come and they promote you. Mm. And, so and you only got about five more years on the job. See, that's what they do to you. Mm -hmm. And so, the new way these young people, I like what they're doing. They spend more five, three years on the job, and anyway, they find another one paying more with more benefits. And they'll move, and they go to another one. And, and I don't blame them, because people only treat you bad when you stay on these jobs long. Now, but let's don't go too much over that. Oh, but then it yeah, still it's, it's, goes to it being all about the children. Yeah. Because when you look at it, there are many parents in providing guidance are operating from that old school yeah. of thought that a job a government job is a short sure job. job and it's you know and then, but then we got another old school thing we gotta stop. What's that? These children don't mean that's no good. Let me let me tell you. I got another old thing. Watch this guy. You will work and bust your backside on these jobs from six o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the evening. Pick these dying children up from private school or government school, drop them to this music, drop them to dro everything, feed them. This, and you know what you get at the later date? You decided to remortgage your house to send them to college. Mm. These buggers come back, what they do? They get married, get their own they job, take their money, their when they get their money, and take care of another woman or another man. They ain't give two hooks about you. But you mortgage your house, you got this big mortgage bill, and you they are struggling while they partying. And they're having a good time. And then they come back and tell you, say, oh, you old fashioned. And then they insult you. Oh, you shouldn't do that. That's what you want to do. These children got there. Some of them need a good cut backside. I, I'm telling you, and if you sit, they didn't even check for you. These dying children. Y'all stay around here. What? Did you just point at me? Yeah. Y'all. <laughs> so you point at me? Because I got a point on some of y'all. Because all y'all fool. Some of y'all. Excuse <laughs> me. Some of y'all done. He did not just say that. Is okay. white. Listen. It irritates me. It's irritate me. Oh, he is irritated. That's but why he pointed at me. People okay. irritated at these. Every time you talk to somebody. Child. I still got mortgage because I sent my child to school. And most times your child come back very, you send a, your child to school as a man to come back as a woman. You spend all your money, <laughs> they've got to bullshit. See, let me know you use that way. <laughs> because, but it irritates you because these children, they don't have no regard for how hard you struggle to but help that, them. That is because... And they don't care. That is and, because... Many of us as parents have failed to teach them how to be responsible. Let me tell you something. You have parents who literally put their children clothes on and put the food in their mouth so that they can focus on their schoolwork. So uh, you train them to think that that is their only function in life. Whereas you wash all the dishes, you wash all the clothes, you mop the floor, clean the car, clean the yard, clean the bathroom, you do everything for them. You press their clothes and all these children don't know how to do nothing for themselves because you wait on them hand and foot. So as far as they're concerned, you're the servant, they're the prince and the princess. Yeah, but, but you cannot, see, see, I, 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 I get picked off about this because you see the struggle you go through. And, 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 and you know, let, me, let me tell you what it's you, They don't even want an advice from you. But you hear what they say? They say you choose it. Yeah. But so you choose to be the ideal parent providing everything that they be, need. Because you don't want them to go through what you went through. Yeah, okay. You don't want them to talk water from the pump. You know what they can say? You don't want them to talk water from the well. You, if you toting water from the well and the pump didn't kill you, so why you prevent them from building muscles and building responsibility and experiencing a level of hardship? Look at, at what is happening in our country. The kids that are experiencing the hardship are the ones who are excelling all around because they appreciate 
what their parents give. But we make it look like a walk in the park when we do all that we do for our kids without teaching them to share the responsibility. Yeah, it's true, true. But the ungratefulness of them, they telling you, you could imagine, folks out there, you could imagine this. Your child telling you, say, when you say, well, look, oh, I'm responsible for me. You bring me in this world. And, and so, then they flip the script when they get old enough to do for themselves yeah, and they, making something. They don't owe you nothing. nothing. They, they don't owe you nothing, but they telling you, well, you say, well, you, you 25 now, you put, well, no, 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 no. You, you, you my father to the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, no matter if I ask you for, no, mm -hmm. you're supposed to give it to me because you use my daddy and you always my daddy. And you, so they use psychology on you. And then what they tell you, let me tell you what's kill. Let me tell you what kill me now. I watch this, listen to this good. They now telling you the church you've been to is in dark ages and it ain't making no sense. Because they ain't going to no church. <laughs> it's like, well, 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 all these years, this is what guides you. I took you to church. You. No, no. No, no, no. I took they you. followed you. See, it got you was the guide. You was being guided. Yeah, they followed but, you. But, but, follow me, and then you beat me up. All these years, this is how guide you to be this decent woman, mm -hmm. or this decent man, a boy, boy, mm -hmm. child. You come up in a decent way, so you follow this guideline. How the hell you get the rain? New knowledge. You see. You see. New, you, you don't didn't me no go to don't school. Don't make me have a new knowledge. You didn't go to school. You sent me to school. When I went to school, these are the things that I learned. I got a better understanding of what the Bible meant than you did. Because you only listened to the pastor who listened to his pastor. Okay. Ain't none of them being to school, but I've been to school, and that's where I get my information from. Yeah, you see, here's it. When I say guide you. I didn't mean by everything in the Bible. What I meant to make you a decent person, respectable, that you you walk, you wear the mm -hmm. right clothes. Mm -hmm. See, that is what guides you. That was a guideline. So now how how the devil you get from here to walk in the street naked, half naked? Times have changed. See, times might change, but things and principles might have changed. Principles don't change. And tell me the difference in the principle of the way you taught me to dress and the way I now dress. What's the difference? The, the way I taught you to dress is that certain things remain a secret. And certain things remain for special moments. So if you show it out there, when the guy get it, you know differently like oh this is the same shit I see you see that's the language so but what you want to have something that's when you get it you say oh Jesus this is it I didn't know it was this and he surprised but, but, but let me ask the question though, ask you because ask. I am hearing that the way I dress determines who I am the way you dress gives me imagination. I can look at you and I can imagine that this round hip, this nice breast, this whatever it is. Here's the problem. I want it, but I only want it for a period of time because if I said, if this is how you let it front it and this that, I really don't want this. Because you're letting everybody see this. I really don't. What I'm gonna do, I might love you for two years, three years, yeah, yeah, because the sex can be good, and then you might be a nice person who clean my clothes and wash me, and and and, and you probably be a nice person to come and say that, but always in the back of my head is remain. Why this? Why this woman wearing clothes like this? So, my question. No, no, answer my that follow question. up question. Yeah, answer that question. But why you doing this? If you all this person, why are you doing this? You 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 really want me to answer? answer that. That. So why are you doing because this? Because I dress 
fully dressed according to the way that you want me to dress. But we in the vehicle driving down the road and you staring off the road, driving off the road, looking at somebody who dressed the way you don't want me to be dressed. Mm. But I want to look at somebody else who not mine. See, that's the difference. Well, you see, that's a double <laughs> standard. No, 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 double standard. It is. No, no, double standard. Because there are some girls who you can't change. They just get out. They just um, loose. No, you can't they got it. it from somewhere. They got it because even if you got their it, parents did not instill in them or insist. Because you have girls who grow up as church girls and they change their dress code as they mature. Yeah. I don't because I, they want to. So it ain't that the parents do. I'm not saying it's their look, choice. I'm not saying you don't look sexy. Don't get me wrong now. You know what I mean? I'm not saying don't no, but look you're charming asking, and sexy. Okay. Yeah. But some is taken too, too far. That, that's what I'm talking about. How far is too far? Well, you almost could see everything God give them. They wearing this little thing just around the nipple and everything else showing. And they laying a little thing like this between the leg, you know, a little thing. They're going thing. back to the, to, the, to, the, to the Stone Age. Well, yeah, here's the problem. And, and, and the creation. Here's the problem. Mm. Here's the problem. Mm. It is not the problem that the fella did you love. Is the problem is the guy who has no guidance. Okay, what happens? And he wants, he take, he take it upon himself that he must have this. So he pursues it. And he pursues it to the level he never gives enough. And so he meets you in a corner or someplace spot. He think he could pull you and rape you or chase you. See, it creates so much So it, 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 again. All this violence we have in our country mm. stem from some jealousy yeah and if it ain't jealousy it is and if it ain't jealousy it is okay. something mm -hmm. it, it, if it ain't jealousy what you see with your eyes most time check yourself you see what nice pants with your eyes in the store mm -hmm. you want it you see a nice pair of shoes or pants you want it it's it, right. it almost like a and, I and, gotta have and, it. and so that is the way that women you see so somebody have you ever okay. have you ever I mean you're not a woman but most women go into environments say they're looking for something nice to wear mm -hmm. and they have to shop high and wide before they could find something that fits the old modest way of dressing because most people trends are like this clothing trend changes almost overnight but what anthony says is that oh, my a woman is... should hey, dress the way that she wants to be addressed okay um yes a woman should dress the way that she wants to be addressed now I am going to ask this question Don't because question. Um, if I'm wearing something that's modest, that shows my cleavage, probably shows my arm as well. Some men, I, I could even roll that further back to being dressed, fully dressed like a Muslim. And that don't stop some men from wanting to pull you in the bush and rape you. A woman who dressed like a Muslim 90% of the time, men, men, men wouldn't even fool with her. In the Bahamas, now we're talking about. Men wouldn't even fool with her. Unless they're mental. Most men, right? Yeah. Because you know what they say? That's they a respect. Secret, yes. The secret they respect law. Her, 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 her code her, her, yeah. of conduct. So they wouldn't right. even mess with her. They would say, oh, she's religious, so let me leave that. But only the clowns, and a good example, I'm glad. You got, like my daughter. I love my daughter. And my daughter will tell you, or she will, look, she will look sexy in her clothes. But she know if she put on something way out, I ain't ashamed to say, hey, hey, hey. But see, a lot of fathers allow this foolishness. They allow their daughter to come out. We talking about the children. And now. she is an adult, right? So even as an adult, she will adult. have something to say. She is adult, and so she know I have something to say because. I want to look sexy. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I like, but but if she take it too far, 
I have to like say, hold on, honey. Now you know what? I love you, but the same thing. So now, now, now hold on. See the other side of it is this: mm -hmm. she's a woman, right? So she could say to me, "Daddy, this is my dress," and I, and guess what happened? Mm -hmm. I might say, "Okay," but I told her. I, I think. I think. Point. I think the bottom line really is the environment, your level of confidence. Some people wear it because it's the style, but they're not comfortable. And you could see from the way that they conduct themselves, the way they walk, the way they keep pulling at whatever it is that they're not comfortable. But everybody will shake up their ass all of a sudden. All of a sudden, all these video out, all these young children, they will shake up. Everybody will shake up, shake up. Listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me. There's some tricks you leave for the pockets and the darkness because only the freak comes out at night. So you gotta be, your young people gotta be very careful that this very thing you're doing, it has some consequences behind it. Yeah. And, and this is why all this shoot going on to me, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, no, no, you can say. I was saying, Anthony said she could hear you say right now, you better go put on some clothes. <laughs> yeah. Because, 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 and, and she's a woman, she could, she could say, Daddy, hold on. I, I marry a woman. I, you don't understand me? And I respect that. Mm -hmm. But I can check you mm -hmm. to let you know that me, 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 it ain't that. And let me give you, let me give you before we do, and let me give you another side of this. You do all you could do for your children. You wish you could do more. Because mm -hmm. you, you probably, in your heart, you're hurting, you saying, I wish I could do more. I wish I could. You, every daddy and every mother, I think, want to buy a house for their daughter or their son if they had it. Because mm. they won't get them from around them. They say, yeah, go. <laughs> this is where I get rid of you. So, but, but the children become so ungrateful. You don't think I've been to hell, I should know what is right and wrong. Some things I could see. Well, yes, yes. So are they trying to help my son or I my daughter, mm -hmm. to become aware. But they so, they, they, these children now telling their parents, oh, you old school. But you, you know, ain't know what you said. You know, um, and then they get shooting in the head yeah. from a bullet. Yeah. But you're trying to warn them that, listen, certain things you don't do, right. certain things you don't say, mm -hmm. but they know everything. And that's because you know that basically what would attract certain behavior, certain types. And that comes right back to the dress code. If you're going in a particular environment, you should know how to dress because you know what you're gonna meet when you get there, mm -hmm. right? Similarly, um, if you wanna stare your son or daughter down a particular career path, you still have to respect their interests because if you don't respect their interests, you could very well be responsible for putting them in a dark hole, a place that they cannot get out of. Because, yes, coming right back to the government job, government job may be offer a level of security, right? And if you know the right people, you get promotion after promotion, right? But if I have an interest in being a teacher, don't tell me to go and be a lawyer. And if I don't choose to be a lawyer, you ain't gonna pay my school fee. Or you want me to be a doctor and I wanna be a chef, mm -hmm. right? We have to embrace the uniqueness of individuals because we were born with a purpose. Our interest is not ad hoc. Our interest is from our place of love, our place of comfort. And so we have to make sure to enhance and empower individuals to be their unique self. So as parents, we don't have the right to dictate, you know, we could provide guidance and we could offer an explanation, engage in a conversation about the topic. But you have some parents in the Bahamas that are very dogmatic, autocratic, 
what I say go, and if you can't do what I say, then you hit the road. But very few good see, children, you know, yeah, good know. obedient. But you know what I used to know what I learned? Mm-hmm. It don't matter what it is. Your parents may cuss in the street and carry them back, mm-hmm. but most parents always want good for their children. Exactly. And and and, and parents see. L- l- let me tell you, my son wrote something on Facebook. It was ever ever interesting? And he it's so interesting that he got my attention. Mm-hmm. He said that parents don't respect children, mm. and parents then don't realize children by them stressing them or they get them mental. Yeah, yeah, and, and because that not everyone has the same mental power. Right. Some people are highly emotional. And when you push, 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 you hear about the straw that, straw that mm-hmm. break the camel back, mm-hmm. you have to know your children. No two children are alike. Every child that you have, just like the mother will explain, when she was given birth, one baby cut her backside, the next baby was just easy flow, and then the other one was like somewhere in between. And that is basically the same thing as children grow up. And Their needs, and children would compare and say, oh, you treat this one better, but this one don't create no problems for me to treat them the way I have to treat you in order to get your attention. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know what I learned? My son, I tell you about this, mm-hmm. what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Something I learned, it hit me. And I want a lot of people out there to listen to this. What I learned by him telling me about the stress that parents put mm-hmm. on them and, uh, and the respect. He was talking about his parents' respect mm-hmm. and how we lose track because it's what we want and what we, it's what we want. Just, just what we want for yeah, our yeah, children. Yeah. So in essence, it's but like you know what we I allowing out? our children this to is live the ha- life we yeah. fail. But guess what? Mm-hmm. I tie it into something. All these murders, mm-hmm. check yourself. You think murders is because of boyfriend, girlfriend, drugs, and it hit me. The murders we're having today with this around here, mm-hmm. it's about, majority of it is for respect. Okay. It's about a level of respect that you should have for me. Mm-hmm. Let me explain. You might be a person don't want nobody to talk hard to you. Mm-hmm. That's how you live. Because mm-hmm. you don't want people to talk hard to you. Mm-hmm. You get ticked off because of that. Mm-hmm. I may live, I get ticked off when people start joking, mm-hmm. making me... Right. 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 And somebody over there might get ticked off because they, they don't want nobody whine. Mm-hmm. So now we got a bunch of guys. You see where we have the problem? I'm listening. You comes out. The very thing my mother did, you not doing to me. Right. I didn't like it. But you in my mouth. Mm-hmm. So, me well, and you. And you get everything with my mommy was supposed the war. to get. It's a war. <laughs> I hate you now. Right. And it's based on hate now. Because you triggered a ah. memory of something that I endured for years and years and years. And so this, the tie of all the violence mm-hmm. we having in the country is not because of drugs or good. It is because unsolved s- issues from childhood. And you run across a guy who's probably very angry. Mm-hmm. He probably ain't thinking about you, but you run across him and you trigger that. Yeah. So you get you get and he and he's he's toting a gun. He's powerful. Mm-hmm. When you have, when you but have, that that in itself, I mean, you I tow a gun. It's powerful. So what we have, it's a lot of unmanaged kids, unresolved issues, a lot of kids with problems, a lot of family issues, mm-hmm. all are on the streets. So what we have, oh my God, I just, I didn't realize this, I, I tied this in 
so sweetly. It just, it just, I couldn't believe it because some of my son wrote. Mm -hmm. And I read it and I say, this fool, this is the first thing I said, this, look at this, look at this fool always talking foolishness. And that's what I thought. But when I break it down and analyze what he's saying, and then I put it to other people, why, that's why I say the pigeons mm -hmm. all around. Mm -hmm. And that's why I call it. A lot of people carrying issues on the street. Mental issues, parental issues. My mother and daddy mm -hmm. wasn't there for me. My mother and my daddy tell me care my black self. So they never respected me. Mm. My mother never wanted me to be a chef. She pushed me to be a farmer, and I'm angry. And conflict resolution is one of the key. But it's not just conflict resolution. We still deal with mental issues, or pro whatever the issue, mm -hmm. problem issues, that store up in us this hate, and it coming out in a weapon. Yeah. So, I mean... Our time is just about gone, but mm. I think what we probably can do at this point is show some resolve in terms of maybe this might be the solution, right, mm -hmm. to helping young people or helping parents understand the role that they play That's it. in what is going on out there in the street. So take it on. Okay. I say this, parents, just remember this. You must listen to your children. I know it's a hard thing when you work hard and come back money and they're doing all kind of fool and you ain't got a time because you must listen to your boys. Forget the girls. I ain't dealing with no, the girls. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hold on. I, I try to deal with this crime thing. This gun and sh this. But don't say you know, forget the girls. You know, I will not say you know, that. Minutes, you say hold on. You know how many people get killed in the last couple of no, hours? No. Two people at Solomon last night. One people at Christie Street a while ago. It's it just the murders, murders, murders. So, and these young boys, mm -hmm. that's why I say, I don't want to forget the girls, but parents, you got to listen to these boys. And, and men. I think they need to give them some attention. Yeah. Not only listen and, because. And, and men. We must channel sit. Them, channel we them. must sit down and have a conversation with our boys of around fifteen to eighteen, like before they gone out in the street. I think they probably okay, need fourteen. To start. Fourteen okay. is a little Four, late. Yeah, twelve. I, I would say from grade once they enter in grade six. Well, uh, fine, but we must have a serious conversation on a regular basis. Dialogue, build a relationship bit, with I child. think every Sunday you should find out what happened, what's going on. Only Sundays? Yeah, I think every time Sunday, Sunday, because my parents used to talk about Sunday dinner. You know, Sunday dinner was a time. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, I understand. The structure, the family now, but, you know. But the, the father Sunday might dinner. have the time. The father, you have make the time. Make time. No, make time. But he might, he might be stressed for work every day. Make the only time. thing he could do is probably a Sunday. Hmm. Mothers have plenty of time. So, Tony, what I'm stop, saying to you, stop, 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 stop. whatever it is, how much time? You can do it every day. But men don't like to be talked to every day. That's the problem. No, so, I, you see, it ain't about talking to. It's talking with. with. But men don't want to have too much. Because after a while, we shut. So. That is why. So, we have to make it less. Because trust me, she ain't no man. She ain't Listen no to me. Listen to me. I have I'm a father, you. though. And I have brothers. Yeah, but and let me say this: when you talk too much, for me, no, it ain't about talking. When you it's about spending time and sharing valuable time. Boys ain't wired like girls. Hold on, Tony. Go on. Let me let me let me ask Where? you the question. Right, you're a man with skills. Right, I got plenty of skills. Yeah. Okay, how many of those skills have you passed on to your sons? And everyone, I tried to pass that. You tried, and everyone. how many? Were you successful at passing that? I don't know. I will know. Not many. Not many. I tell you what. I'm truthful. Go not ahead. many. Because my kids are not physical kids. And my kids don't like to listen well. That's the young generation. Right. But trust me, I find a way to work around them. You know, I, 
amount of playing talent. I am very crafty. So I get them another way then. If I can't talk to you, I will get you know, what you like, what you do, and I work. I will have to write it. I will have to do it. So somebody may come in. Yeah, let's take a um, And so. Caffeine Bryce says that parenting is a shared responsibility. Yeah. Caffeine Bryce chats. Yeah. Oh, hi, Ms. Bryce. Yeah. Um, I know it's a shared responsibility. And it should be always shared responsibility. But most times, you know, Miss Jax, the man is be awesome, or, 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 or very busy sometimes. And so it takes, I understand what you're saying. It should be. You should find the time. I, I understand that. But when you see somebody trying to make ends meet and try to be on the grid six days a week, it's very difficult. I understand. And that's why my mother was so instrumental in my life. My mother brought me up. My father didn't brought me up. My, my, mother taught, my mother taught me how to tie my lace in. My mother taught me how to shine my shoes. My mother taught me how to brush my teeth. My mother even taught me how to shave. It ain't that my father wasn't a good father, but my mother was 24-7. She, would, my she father worked was, in the home. She right. worked in the home. Right, so she was there 24-7. Still talk to them. You think they are not listening, but later down in life, they will remember. Oh yeah, when they when they hit when they hit the wall, they come running. And let me tell you, they come running, and they, just the speed they come running with. They hope you get the answer. The speed to go back, cause that, that's a so fast. They want the answer. They 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 don't want to sit and listen. They like, Daddy, what you say? I give you an example. When you see. Your children have a relationship problem and they come to you and you give them a lot of advice and you try your best to be in the middle. Yeah, and you try to be in the middle. What has happened most times is that the children feels that you don't love them, you love the other person. But if you're being honest. But you're trying to be yeah, honest yeah. and then they get mad with you because they tell you, well, well, daddy, you know, well, you, you, I say, well, you know what? I'm not gonna let you bring your one side story. <laughs> you know, it's too bring them here. It's two sided story. And, and so sometimes the, the the way to deal with it is to simply ask a lot of questions, yeah. get the full details, you know, and ask them. So what did they say? And what did you say? Yeah. And what did you do? And what did they do? I do it and all, in that way, I do it all the time. Yeah, yeah. And and, and you know. I, because I, other than that, they may think that you're being biased because you're taking it from your own experience. Exactly. But, you and know. you know, um, I did sports and I traveled the world. And when I tell you all I travel the world, like ain't no whole line, be no place. I travel the world. I mean, massively around the place, all over the place. Far and wide. Oh, huh? all over the place. And so I see it all. And when I were a playboy, um, I even traveled a little even faster <laughs> <laughs> until I hit my corner. And so when I tell my children what I experience, they too is baffled, be baffled. They say, well, how do you know? Because, because you have to share that experience. I know mm -hmm. it wasn't close. You have to share those experiences. And sometimes you have to tell them it the way, the way that it is. See, see, you can't dodge some things because they won't understand. Mm. You have to tell them exactly. And I think a lot of parents give the story, but they never give the answer to the story. And so, yeah. and you gotta so, be prepared to be brave, to be honest, mm -hmm. but then you also have to put it in a way that they are able to understand it. Right? Um, if you did something that was wrong, I guess you begin by saying, now, I did this, and when I look back at it, I should not have done it. But sometimes, you know, you get caught off guard. Some people pull you out of character, but you got to always be ready to stand on the principles that you believe. Yeah. And so, what we need to do as parents, 
cannot lose none of these young men anymore. Now I don't, I, I'm trying to work on something, but we need, we don't need no men in coat suit no more. And no man in necktie. We need men, shirt and pants and tennis. And let's hit the streets because we cannot let these young men kill themselves like they do. This is crazy. And we got, as parents, we got to fight this evil. This evil, we got to fight it. I know I'm getting all hot and all but I am so hurt about the young men are dying on our streets. And we are parents allowing it to happen. Oh, we say, let the police, let this one, let, let the pastor, let the, no. Let the parents, let's get, you know what? All these neighborhoods we got, stop, stop and talk over the wall. Boy, how you doing? But try to make some impact in this foolishness. This is crazy. And I, I can't take no more. I just can't take no more. See, I feel it because this one come. Oh, Mr. Williams, you know, that was my grandson. Oh, Mr. Williams. That's the, that's the, that's the alpha fuck. I, I, what, what I could do now? The boy done dead. But if you come, when he was doing the money in your hand, and when he was bringing all the stuff in the house, and when he was teething the people tire and teething the people drugs, that's when you should have come. Mm. I might get help then. So I can say our time is gone. All I say to this Bahamas, stop talking politics. Yellow and red. That is not gonna help us today. Thank you, Caffeine. Caffeine said it was a great topic anyway, today. Y'all Thank keep you, it. and we look forward to next week, same time, same place. Motivate to inspire Mel and Tony under the tree. Every Saturday, right here. Meet us right here. Four o'clock. Good afternoon. Take care. Take care. Enjoy your week. <laughs>